When I appeared before the Public Accounts Committee, and this matter was presented to the Controller and Auditor General, the Auditor General said that they had written a letter to me, and they produced that letter. But the letter was written to an unknown address. Even themselves, they didn't know that address. So is it conceivable that the Auditor General, in conducting the so-called forensic investigation, could not trace the manager procurement? Could not trace the director of finance? Could not trace the deputy commission secretary support, who oversees all the procurement, and could not trace the chief executive officer? You cannot arrive at any other conclusion. You cannot call that incompetence. You cannot call that professional negligence. This is a willful design at the highest level to ensure that the Kenyan public gets a wrong message. To blame the Secretariat and myself, either in order to protect the IEBC as an institution or individuals within it, or to protect some other people. Whatever the motivation, clearly this cannot have been in negligence. The other institution which has had the opportunity to look at this matter is the Public Accounts Committee. I appeared before the Public Accounts Committee. The Public Accounts Committee was proceeding on the basis of the report of the Controller and Auditor General. The report of the Public Accounts Committee blames the CEO and the commissioners and everybody and other people, but specifically blames the CEO and says the chief executive officer was promoting the interests of one company called 4G. And that the commissioners were promoting the interest of another company called Face Technologies. The Public Accounts Committee despite the glaring incompetence or criminality adopted or relied on the report of the Auditor General. Now, I will just give you one basic fact about that. Because it was said I was supporting a company called 4G, I want to give you a fact, the following facts. There were four final companies which were shortlisted. Those companies are the lowest is called 4G. And 4G made a quotation which was 247 million 273 650 shillings short of the budget of the commission. The budget for the commission was 3 billion 976 654. So the lowest quote was 4G. And the quotation, if there had been a contract, would have saved this country 247 million, 273, 650. The second company which was rated, not by myself, but by the technical committee, and the technical committee included representatives from UNDP, because UNDP was paying 25% of the overall costs. And incidentally, UNDP wrote a report clearly stating that the process of evaluation was one of the best they have ever undertaken in this country. So the second company was called Symphony. If the contract had been awarded to Symphony, it would have saved this country 119 five hundred and twenty five thirty one and twelve cents the company that came third is called face technologies face technologies quotation 
if they had been given this contract, this country would have paid 810, 759, 061 and 57 shillings above the commission budget. I want to repeat that. Face Technologies was quoting 1 billion shillings above the commission budget. And the last company is called Ontrack International. And if this contract had been given to Ontrack International, the public would have paid Kenya shillings 4 billion, 251, 609, 226 shillings. Those were the quotations. <coughs> My question to you and to this country is this. Where else would a tender committee or anybody else award a contract of this nature to a company which has quoted one billion shillings above your own budget? Where would you get that extra one billion? And when the CEO puts his foot down and says, this is irregular, this is wrong, the Public Accounts Committee says the CEO was therefore championing the interests of a company called 4G. It is not the CEO championing the interest of a company called 4G. The CEO is championing the best interest of transparency and accountability. I found it odd and still find it odd That in this country, if you make a hard decision which is backed by the law and which saves money, the only thing you can get is calumny. The only thing you can get is condemnation. It is sad. I must add that when these figures were presented to Public Procurement and Oversight Authority in a letter. They too wrote back and confirmed a tender committee cannot award above your own budget. Why was it difficult for the Public Accounts Committee to recognize this fact in the face and to respond to them? I know they did a good job, but it falls far short. of the conclusion which I think they should have reached in the face of evidence available to them.